Levan Saginashvili breathes fire at Denis Siplenkov once again. Yesterday, Levan was interviewed by Engin Terzi and he was asked a bunch of interesting questions. So why is this tension existing between Levan and Denis? We'll try to find that out in this video. So the first question was about Hermes Gasparini super match. Levan said that no disrespect to Hermes, but to fight against Hermes, Levan was not as much motivated as he was in some of his previous fights. The reasons could have been he did not have any animosity or genuine hate against Hermes and he already thought that he was really dominant, everyone was telling him. So maybe that was also one of the reasons why he wasn't that much motivated, why he, th he wasn't that much fired up during the match. Although we saw in round one that Levan was really aggressive against Hermes as well. But Levan said that he tried to do some fake kind of uh, aggression in his own mind to get more motivated against Hermes. Because Hermes is such a nice dude, it is really difficult to get angry on him. Except for if you are Devon Lad. No, Devon is also not angry. He is always in a funny way. But Devon has no problem trash talking Hermes Gasparini. And the good thing is that Engin was constantly, in this entire interview, Engin was constantly challenging Levan's point of views. He said that yes, Levan mentioned everything from not being able to breathe in the space because of lack of oxygen to him being not much motivated. But he should also say that Hermes is the deserving opponent to get two wins off him because Hermes was that good. And then Levan clarified that yes, of course, because Hermes was so good, that's why he had these problems. Otherwise, he wouldn't have had these problems if Levan was more dominant, which makes sense because everyone knows that Hermes was strong. That's why he stopped Levan. So it is kind of understood that Levan was talking about the outside reasons more. Then Engin asked Levan, who is the strongest wrist to top roll? Who is the strongest opponent in that regard? The wrist being strongest out of all of the opponents that Levan has faced. And that was a shocking response. Levan said Krasimir Kostadinov 2016. And Engin wanted to clarify this topic further, but still Levan stood by his, his answer. He said that he has never felt that much difficulty in top rolling anyone since that 2016 match against Krasimir Kostadinov. Now the big topic. By this time, we already know that there is some genuine beef between Levan and Dennis. If we talk about who is doing more of trash talking, it has always been Levan. Dennis very rarely speaks anything against Levan Saginashvili. He is always very respective. But there is clearly some beef between these two. What is the reason? We don't know yet. Maybe it is the country's issue. We have seen a lot of times that Georgians and Russians, they do kind of trash talk each other. Maybe it is something else that we will discuss further in this video. Then he said that Dennis should stop avoiding Levan and they should have a match already. Engin said that, no, it is too early. Dennis is not avoiding him, but he's just making a comeback and his projection, his trajectory will be like this. He will be gaining soon and he will be challenging Levan Saginashvili. Then the topic of who is the overall more dominant arm wrestler was brought up. Levan said that the answer should be clear because Dennis was only PAL champion and Levan won both WAF and PAL. And now he's winning in more super matches as well. So I think he meant to say that it is clear to everyone. And I like this type of, of talking. I It is my personal opinion, but I do not like the humble champions that much. I like those guys who say that, yes, I am the man. Do something about it. Levan also said that when Dennis was beating Pushkar, Pushkar was competing in drug tested events, but Dennis wasn't. This actually isn't the first time when Levan is accusing Dennis of using steroids. He mentioned that in the in, in one of his previous videos as well, about a couple of months ago. He said that he has been tested many times for drugs, but Dennis has never been tested. Then once again, Levan said that Dennis has lost to John, Dennis has lost to Arsene Liliev, and Dennis also lost few rounds to Monster Michael Todd. So the answer is clear, who is more dominant? So it is already there, like the trash talk is already there and I think this match is inevitable. Especially in a 6 round format, when Dennis hits that king's move, there is a possibility that something can happen. Levan kind of jokingly said towards the end of the interview that Engin, did you like the way I was already hyping up the match against Dennis Siplenkov? And Engin said yes, of course, but this is too early. 
Dennis is not ready yet. Dennis first needs to face and beat Devon Lerett. Maybe another match after that, but I think if he beats Devon, he can straight away go for Levan Saganashvili. Dennis has already mentioned that he needs about a little bit more than one year to train, to get in peak shape, and then he will face Levan for the number one spot in the world. Let's see what people said in the comment section of Engin's live. Levan is just jealous of Dennis because in people's opinions, Prime Dennis greater than Prime Levan. That's an interesting take on this situation. I don't know who is stronger between Prime Dennis and Levan, but I do know who is more classier and who is respectful towards his opponents. And I think he's talking about Dennis, of course. And somebody is mentioning that Levan did not have any problems with Dennis until Dennis called him a little piggy. Check top 8 interview. I also remember something like that. I can't find the link. But this guy said again, sadly no, but I know 100% that Dennis called him. He said Levan is like little piggy or something and Levan responded to it by saying little piggy is hungry, okay. Then somebody mentioned translation. This is what the language barrier leads to. Dennis did not call Levan person. I don't know what it means. Dennis called Levan bore. It is not the same thing. Yes, I think I do remember Dennis calling him bore or something like that. I think it is more like beast as English speakers will call beast. It wasn't an insult. As always, Europeans making excuses lost respect for Levan after this. I think he's talking about the Hermes Gasparini match here when Levan was mentioning that there was less oxygen and he was not motivated. Yes, I agree. Levan made too many excuses and didn't give Hermes respect. Some Europeans, some Americans, okay, blanket statements. Yeah, I, that's that's... Something that you cannot use a blanket statement for. Still number one in the world, which is correct. Things are already getting interesting. Can Dennis beat Devon? Can Dennis beat Levan and reclaim the number one title in the world? Mention in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.